Uh, there's your basic sine wave. Is it A? We named this graph a sine wave. Uh, B, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. <laughs> or C, uh, Oprah's weight. <laughs> Oprah fans, it's a joke. Hey there, and welcome to part two of Name That Graph. This is Comedy in Place, the comedy show that comes to you from my office right here in my home in Southern California. I am your host, Don McMillan. Thank you for joining me today. Yes, this is part two of Name That Graph. If you didn't see part one, I posted it earlier this week. Go back and watch it. It, it really sets up today's show. Uh, if you didn't, I'll just catch you up real quickly. Basically, if you're sitting in a really boring PowerPoint presentation, if the, some sales or marketing or engineering person is just going through slide after slide of these really boring charts and graphs, how do you stay interested? Well, you can play Name That Graph. Look at that graph and try to figure out what else that could be. Yeah, it makes you look like you're interested and you're actually, you know, paying attention when really you're just playing a game. That's how this works. Uh, by the way, stick around at the end of today's show. More live comedy coming up, filmed in front of a live studio audience with people laughing in real time. I know that's funny, or at least I believe it is, unless those people are lying to me. Uh, that's coming up at the end of today's show. In the meantime, let's get to today's comedy in place bit, which again is called Name That Graph. Yeah, I always wanted to host a game show. This is my chance. So let's play Name That Graph. Again, these are all graphs you might see in a real presentation, but what else could they be? So let's look at the first one, org charts. Every time you see a presentation, somebody throws up an org chart up, and that's what they look like, right? They always a bunch of boxes and names and lines. They always look the same. But what else could this be? What else could this be? Whenever I see it, I think it looks like uh, Hollywood Squares. <laughs> that, it does. It looks like Hollywood Squares. Peter Marshall's there as your host. He's at the top. Then you have all the regulars, Charo, Charlie Weaver, right? Uh, Paul Lynn. Yeah, you got to love Paul Lynn. Comedy icon, Paul Lynn. That's right. Pa love Paul Lynn. Just maybe a little nostalgia, but maybe you'll smile next time you see an org chart. You'll think Hollywood Squares. That's how today's bit works. Some comedy in your future. Next one. Ah, process people always have the best charts and graphs. This is one. This is data criticality versus tier. I think it's in a data in a in a, in a some kind of data center uh, being passed around, and there's mobility there and the different tiers and that, cool chart. But what else could that chart be? What else could that chart? It could be. It could be a Christmas wrapping diagram, right? That's I could never wrap presents. I would need some kind of diagram. There's something that maybe comes from Ikea. That looks like an Ikea diagram, actually. Or what else could this be? What else could this graph be? Could be Kama Sutra for flatworms. Yeah. yeah. You want to turn on your flatworm? Yeah. Check out the Kama Sutra for flatworms. There are two flatworms that are just in ecstasy right there. Yeah. They're doing the Kama Sutra for flatworms. Never thought you'd hear those words together, did you? Only here at Comedy in Place. Uh, let's move to the next one. This is one. Yeah, people love these complicated charts. This is a 3D product sales by month chart. You know, it looks so cool. It makes it look like you're doing something when you have a really busy chart. You know, that's, it's just data, okay? But people think this is impressive. And that, you know what that looks like to me? You know, that looks like New York City skyline. It looks like New York City, right? It's you're just not New York City skyline. You're, that's what I see. That kind of brings a smile. I like New York. Or what else could that be? That could be. It could be uh, the whack-a-mole odds, right there. There's different holes. Where's the Where's the mole coming up? Well, we did the study right there. That's where you should whack. You're gonna get the mole if you hit that one right there. That's, uh, we do better at whack-a-mole. The most frustrating game, by the way, whack-a-mole. Uh, and why are we picking on moles? It seems unfair. Uh, and then finally, this will be the last one. This is a classic, super busy chart. People love to put up these super busy charts. This is an actual chart, by the way. This is U.S. Department of Defense Acquisition Lifecycle Flow. No wonder this government doesn't work. Look at these flow charts that people made these. And, oh, it's a mess. But what else could this chart be? What else could this chart be? This could be. This could be a yeah, mortgage application process. Yeah. If, I don't know if you've applied for a mortgage lately, but it has got super complicated. It is way too co used to be complicated. Now it's out of this world complicated and always comes out the same way. Always months and months, you put all these diagrams and what do they say? No, 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 no. You need the money. You can't have it. If you don't need the money, we'll lend it to you. But if you, if you need the money, no, no, no. Or what else could this be? Finally, what else could this be? You know what this looks like to me? Seriously, it looks like, where's Waldo, right? Where, where's Waldo? Where am I going to find Waldo? Where, oh, what's that? Oh, there he is right there. There's Waldo. I knew he was in there somewhere. God, play Where's Waldo. Next time you see a chart, plays Where's Waldo. I want to, if it, or go up to somebody after their presentation and go, hey, I think I found Waldo in your chart number 54. They won't understand it, but you'll get a laugh. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's it for Name That Graph Part 2. I hope you enjoyed Part 1 and Part 2 of Name That Graph. I hope it put a smile on your face. Maybe next time you're in a bad presentation, it'll put a smile on your face. That's all I can hope for. Uh, stick around. More live comedy coming up. In the meantime, keep laughing, stay well, and here comes your video. And then uh, this is the last one. Now, it's your basic pulse wave. It's time. Pulse wave goes up to one. Uh, B, uh, Paris Hilton brain activity. 
ooh, pretty, uh, that's hot, uh, shiny, and ouch? Or is it C, a frequency of sex uh, when you're married? Uh, anniversaries. 